Hi, so today we're gonna do our total hair care routine and style it. So instead of just putting in products and air drying it, we're gonna do something with it this time. And I've been letting my hair soak in with this hair oil because it's supposed to make your hair grow. The only thing is I don't like the top because it kind of just spills everywhere. So I put it in like a glass bottle with like a applicator thing so you can put in where you want. Hey, so this is my hair aftercare, which is I do right after the shower when my hair is completely soaking wet. I'm putting in a leave-in conditioner and this is just to tackle that frizziness because I've really been working on my hair care journey and I actually do have a lot of frizziness so this is going to help tackle that and keep the hair hydrated because if you have wavy hair your hair just needs a lot more hydration and that's what's going to give it that and it also makes this particular leave-in conditioner is supposed to make your hair dry faster, which is really great because mine takes six to eight business hours. And then I did go in and add a gel, which is like not like a full-on strength gel, but it's like a light gel. So it's supposed to help combat frizziness. And once it's fully dry, there is no cast on it. I have used stronger hold gels but i just haven't quite figured out what is that magic formula for my hair so you will see me try different products just to see what's the tea in regards to that and then this is just a heat protectant spray which i think you should have um if you're gonna put in any prod any tools on your hair and here i am sectioning it off because when i see people put on heat protection spray. I don't see them portion out their hair, but when you do your hair with heat, you don't just do the top. So anyways, I just go in thoroughly making sure all of my hair has it. And the tab is kind of like hard to push down, so that's why I'm using it. And so here I am trying the mesh comb, and I don't know if you can tell in this clip, but it is 13 watts, and my place is not geared to handle that electricity with the lights on and everything so unfortunately I couldn't try it out although uh, so I will have to figure out somewhere else where I can try it out because it is cool and it comes with a lot of attachments which is actually sad news for me because the shark hair dryer and the Dyson air wrap is 13 watts so unfortunately I cannot give this a fair view because I do not want it to work. I don't know if you can see like the lights going back and forth so that's why I'm like thinking um how am I gonna do my hair and then I even tried a different outlet and it was just a no-go for me because the place where I'm at cannot just handle that amount of electricity so I'm gonna be doing something else so this is a roller brush that I actually did buy from Marshalls. I don't remember what the wattage is, but I have used it before, so I knew that it's okay and it is lower powered, and that's probably why it does take a little bit longer. I think if you have really thick hair, you need to have a higher powered appliance so unfortunately for me right now, this is what I'm going to have to do because I don't feel like short circuiting where I'm at. This is a really good tip for anyone with who styles their hair. You should try to get your roots dried first before styling your hair because you can style your hair really good. But if you don't dry the roots, it's going to mess up all your time an effort when you do your hair so it's gonna be a big waste of time so you should spot air dry your roots first with a hair dryer and I had to go over again and do like a cool air shot with the roots because I did not use a hair dryer 
and I have to section my hair into like thin but it still did not really work because I just tend to have lots and lots of hair so I'm still figuring out really what is the correct way to style my hair and also a really good tip is making sure you kind of have an idea or some sort of like idea of what you'd like to do your hair so I was just doing curls um, front and back so therefore I can look more of a natural look instead of a blowout I did want to do a blowout look but I'm not sure how to quite do that and if you notice like my hair the roots still look very much like wet because I had to really make sure they were dry and actually in fact I had to pin my hair because my hair just was not drying and at that point I actually just wanted to go to bed and so also with styling this haircut my intention was to hide the different lengths of my hair because my hair still has some layers at the bottom and it's all awkward lengths and it does not currently look that put together as one would like since I'm growing that out so I was just curling the ends to kind of make it flow in together and make it all work at this point I know my hair just looks like really fluffy and frizzy at this point but I promise it's gonna look way better when it's done and if you have thick hair what is the best way that you style your hair or manage it to give the appearance that you would like I did go over the front part a lot because that is like the most important part of your hair that people are going to take notice to but I also did try to make sure is working well and as you can tell like my roots are still not dried so I actually did uh, just curl in everything and then just went and pinned the curls I do not have any curlers whatsoever so I just used bobby pins and curled them out so that it would come out well and it was actually very very easy to sleep with so it wasn't like a biggie like I was expecting it to be very uncomfortable but it actually was not and so here's what it's like pinned and it actually was very soft but it's also probably because I have a lot of hair so it's like sleeping on a pillow really more than anything so here is the next day and I did sleep with the curls pinned because the roots were not dry so I wanted to make it work well and I didn't want to style my hair for nothing because if the roots are wet then it kind of ruins your whole styling uh, time and it just makes it not look good. I've had it happen to me before so I'm just letting y'all know so that's like a hack and here I am undoing the curls and I do think I slightly messed up because I did the curls inward, the front curls inward when I should have done them outward, but that is the part of learning, so I'm definitely going to keep that in mind and maybe look at how I would like the curls, but for the first time trying to pin the curls with bobby pins ever, I'm actually like really happy with how it came out and the hair has been holding very well as well as because now the curls are getting looser now that filming it has been a week um the curls are a lot better and it looks more like a 
blowout and just more of the look of where I was going for. So that's really nice if you're gonna have a busy week and don't have a lot of time to style your hair. So thank you for styling the thick hair with me and let me know what you think. Until next time, bye!